Hey, it's Billy. And Rondo. From Strong's Adventures. What we're doing today is a collaboration with Papa Texas and Calvin's Corner 72. You know those fellas. If you don't, go check them out. They'll be up here and down there. We're gonna use our Dutch ovens and Aunt Betty's secret cake recipe. Yeah. So, what me and Rhonda are gonna do, we're gonna make a cake. Why do we make a cake? Cause I make cake, I don't make cobbler. Y'all hang on and we'll show you what we're gonna do. So we got Aunt Betty's secret recipe and Uncle Jell's secret recipe. Since it is 4th of July, what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a red, white, and blue cake. Since it's about 99 degrees and I have a fire roaring behind me, Rhonda's inside, which I don't blame her. So I'm gonna hand all the stuff off to her She's gonna do the inside portion, and I'm gonna stay out here by this fire and cook this cake. Here's Rhonda. Okay, so here's our 10 inch Dutch oven. I have sprayed the inside edges and a little bit there on the bottom. We're also gonna put some parchment paper in there that'll help release it. I've got some strips here that's gonna assist in the removal also. Put that in an X pattern. Put this circled down in there. It's a little too big, but not a big deal. All right, and when this is done, we're just going to lift up on these strips and it'll help pull that out of there. All right, we'll get this out to Billy and he's going to put it on the fire. All right, Rhonda's brought us that beautiful little cast iron out full of our cake mix. Let's get it up here on a hook and get some coals on the top of it. Gonna put a little fire underneath. I can't tell y'all what hook to put it on. It all depends on how your fire's going. If you do the charcoal method, and then you start doing the open fire method, you'll figure it out. But that's not something I can really teach you. You gotta get out there, get you a Dutch oven, and go give it a try. Okay, this cake's probably going to take about an hour because the Dutch oven was cold. I will check it and rotate the lid and rotate the pot every about seven minutes right now. The reason I say seven instead of 15, this side of this fire is really hot. We have a storm coming in and this has to be done and out by July the 4th. Or maybe it's the first, I don't know. I'm running out of time. Gotta get this done. And it rains every time I try to shoot. Tried to shoot yesterday. What'd it do? It rained. Burn up a lot of firewood that way. Okay, we'll be back. I gotta go get a cold drink. Okay, while the cake bakes up, we're gonna be mixing up the icing. I'm gonna use one part of cream cheese icing and one part Cool Whip. So we're just gonna dump those in this bowl and whip them together. 
All right, y'all, it's been about 28 minutes. We're gonna pull it off and see if it's done. I had that fire pretty hot, so I don't wanna burn it. Just like every other YouTuber that gets ready to shoot, neighbor doesn't mow till you get ready to shoot. Either that or the rain, in our case. So, let's check this cake out. There's a little bit on there, but... No. This bad boy is done. I gotta get this inside so that Rhonda can get it out of this Dutch oven so it doesn't keep cooking. Y'all stay tuned, she'll show you how to do the inside part. Okay, we're gonna pull this cake out of the Dutch oven and put it on a cooling rack. Look how simple that was. And then we'll just pull that out. And then after it cools a little bit, I'll flip it over so it can continue to cool. Okay, it's been cooling for about 15 minutes. I'm gonna flip this over so that it can continue to cool on that other side. And I'm gonna peel off this wax paper circle. Okay, so we'll have to put this in the refrigerator for at least four hours for the jello to set. And since it's already 8 p.m. tonight, I'm just going to leave it in there overnight. We can uh, loosely cover it with some saran wrap, or I'm just going to put one of my mixing bowls over on top of it so that the cake does not dry out. And tomorrow, we will ice it with our half Cool Whip, half cream cheese tub icing, and then garnish it. So Billy's working late, so I'm going to have to try this all by myself. You can tell I'm really sad. It turned out really good. Got blue and red, and the cicadas are really singing. It's summertime. Okay, I'm going to make sure I get some good ice in here. Wow, that's rich. With that icing mixed up with the whipped cream, it makes it really sweet. But it's nice and cool because it's been in the refrigerator. And it sure is a sweet treat for a hot summer day. Y'all give it a try yourself. Bye. Yeah, it's a little outside. I don't want the cake to be It's a little, it's a lean and old to me. Just a tad. That's beautiful. Just like you, hon.